All right. Well, hello, everybody. It's time for another edition of The Breakfast Blog. Yeah. Where we cover some of the stories we snub on the morning show at WJRR. And right off the bat, I'm, I'm very happy to report, because uh, we've had some crappy news out there. Yeah. A lot of uh, death and destruction today. Uh, in Los Angeles, there was a bunch of talk that was on the national news about a set of lungs that was found <sighs> on the sidewalk. Everybody's like, oh, my God, there's a set of lungs. Uh, it turns in the toe. out, straight uh, up in the toe. Yeah, right in the toe. <laughs> so you can only imagine what's going on with these lungs. Well, apparently, they're not human lungs. According to an expert, they're not human lungs. But the expert also does not know what kind of lungs they are. So <laughs> what kind of expert is this anyway? Yeah, yeah what kind of expert? Uh, did you guys see the story about uh, your shoes actually being able to be the windows to your soul? You can tell a lot by somebody's shoes, according to this new study. Ninety uh, percent of people's characteristics, like their age, gender, social status, personality, and political leaning, are able to be told by their shoes. Well, I, I don't. I only own a couple pairs of shoes, but I actively yeah wear yeah yeah, yeah. my Vans right, um, which I have dress Vans. Um, They're not any different than the normal Vans. <laughs> They're just They're black. <laughs> I wear them with dress pants. So what do your what do your shoes say about you? Well, I'm about to go. You know, I, I this is my these are my tennis shoes, my sneakers, my active shoes. So, mm-hmm. uh, what 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 do you say this means about me? I don't think that you are a flashy person based no? on your shoes. Okay. Because they could be a lot flashier, although they are very nice. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I don't do the neon thing. The neon yeah. sneakers. The I'm plastic. Not yeah, not not into it. But it does say that you probably work out. Maybe. Okay. All right. You work out. Work out. Um. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I don't know what it says about your political leaning. Though. What about these? What about Rich's, uh, what do you call those, the, boat shoes? The boat shoes. That tells me that maybe you have a boat, so you're like a rich guy. Oh, yeah? You know yeah. It tells me, tells me you got a red room of death. Oh, you red know. Pain. pain. Like the gray guy. Like gray. <laughs> gray. So, see, I would be way off, because you don't have a boat. Yeah, you don't know me. Oh. I don't like, like you know that I have a boat. I <laughs> might. This guy. Can yeah, I, I can have anything. We only know what we know about Rich when he comes in. Don't comes out. When don't he, don't listen to LT. Yeah. She doesn't. She does not know me. He might have a red room of pain and a boat. A red boat. Red of pain. boat of pain. Well, would we say that his your shoes are flashy? No, it's I'm the modest billionaire. All right. So simple, well kept, good quality kicks signifies a conscientious person. Hmm. All right. Yeah, okay. I can see that. But uh, if you wear flashy, trendy, expensive-looking shoes, um, these people, I guess, uh, that were looking at pictures of all these shoes, yeah. uh, correctly were guessed to be wealthy extroverts. If you hmm. wear flashy... Me, me, my flashy trendy, neon shoes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's your rich right. person look. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rich guy, apparently. <laughs> Um, all right, so now HolyTaco.com is a fun website that I find random stories on every once in a while. And uh, I've got the things your girlfriend says and what they actually mean. Ah, oh, I love this. I love this. We, so we I'm going to test notes. you guys. Rich has got a scowl on his face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if she says, I'm fine, what does she actually mean? She's not fine. Yeah, she's yeah leave her fine. alone. Leave her the alone. The tone of my voice clearly indicates that I'm angry. Whatever you're doing, do the opposite so that <laughs> yeah. she's not fine. What? <laughs> if just, you're fine, no, okay. Just say, okay, honey. Okay, honey, whatever you want. Yeah, that's good. Can I get you some chocolate? Can I get, okay, gotcha. But then she might accuse you of thinking she was fat. Okay, mm. okay, honey, can I give you a foot rub? All right, all right. Every single time, see? Educational. Sure. All right, so um, can I see the remote? What does she mean? Turn this damn football off. Yeah, turn your sports <laughs> off. Everything you want to watch sucks. Okay, all, okay. Right. all right. Are you sure you want to eat slash do slash wear that? <laughs> you look stupid what you're wearing. <laughs> you look stupid what you're doing. <laughs> what you're doing and what it you're wearing. simply means <laughs> don't. Don't. Right. Don't eat it. Don't wear it. Don't do it. And when she says, whatever you feel like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. Guess we're watching football, taking a nap. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. And, what do you do? That's trick. That's that's a hard one. What do you do? Is there any good? Is there any good plan of action? For it just that? basically means if you make the wrong decision, you're gonna not probably get laid for like two weeks. Just tell her you want to cuddle. Likely. You want to cuddle. 
And it's out of nowhere, you throw a, a curveball, say, I just want to cuddle, and then you kind of throw the uh, the confusion right back at her. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That could work. All right. But sometimes we don't want to cuddle either, remember. Okay. All right, so that's, uh, yeah, that's what's going on for the breakfast blog, I guess. you go. That was pretty, uh, I think you can walk away from this breakfast blog smarter right now. All right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Back to the hemp lotion. <laughs>